sorry, man. I was reading an article by Piston Power in which they was talking about next year could the, could the Pistons try to draft Bronny James to lure LeBron to Detroit? Because you know LeBron said whoever draft Bronny, he that's where he gonna play at because he want to play with his son, like Ken Griffey and his dad. So Ken Griffey Senior and Ken Griffey Junior did in baseball. Um, I'm a no on that. Uh, only reason I say it ain't no to the kid. The kid can play. It's just no to to the fact that we got enough guards. Jesus Christ, RJ Hampton, Killian, and it, it may change. K Cutting, you might be in the you might be in the mix for a guard next year. That that come on now, Trace, turn man, turn. You might be not this year draft, but next year he's he's eligible to come out. So, um, but uh. To me, that would just be trying, that would be them kind of just selling, tr trying to sell tickets. That's kind of wherever he go, they just be trying to sell tickets. And do I got a problem with him saying, saying that? Absolutely not. People do that all the time for their kids in corporate America. Only black people see it as a, as a, as a badge of dishonor to get help on your way to being successful. That's why we so effed up as a people. Of course, I'm going to co-sign my kid. I listening to uh, Anthony Anderson, his son declined his help because his son was breaking through in the Hollywood industry. He said, I, I can help you, son. No, no, I'm gonna do it on my own. Like, I don't get that. It ain't no bad, you know, it ain't no secret card you get for doing it on your own. Jeff Basil didn't do it on his own on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Generational wealth is usually not one person getting generational wealth in their lifetime. It's being able to pass, pass it down and then somebody, you know, it's like a, 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 a snowball effect. Somebody continue to add, gain, gain, and gain on it. So, but no problem there. I just, you know, and maybe the team be looking going different in the 2024 draft. But he definitely can play. Yeah, yeah, he definitely can play, bro. He, of course, he's not six foot and nine, eight like his daddy was. It's like his brother is gonna get that type of height. But he's solid. He's solid, bro. He got a he got an uphill battle, you know, uphill battle coming, man. You know, LeBron kind of said, I wish I wouldn't name him a junior. Man, that's a badge of honor to carry your name on. So, you know. Some some you know how you how you how you how you groom your kids. And he's done a great job, you know, coming from a you know, a childhood with no no father, no man, no father. So um but yeah, I like the kid though. The kid can play. I'll be watching him, you know. Uh, I, I wish I wish good for all the kids, bro. Um, you know, all, all the kids. But you know, by that time next year, we should be selling tickets based on hype starting to become reality. Like the hype didn't become a reality this year. And I think the first the first true sign what of it was us like, well, Dwayne Casey gonna mess this up. You know, that was our first true sign. Like, yeah, Casey could mess it up. But Kay Cunningham was looking like pale. A lot of us said it was the extra weight gain, but he had a, a, fra a fracture in his shin. You just ask yourself how you do that. And some people say, well, he need to kind of eat meat. And that's the downside to being vegan is that you got to, it's hard to get them amino acids and all that other stuff to get that your body needs. There's only so much dairy and protein shakes can do. And, you know, they, 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 you know, Bernard Hopkins is against going vegan for professional boxers. You know, so, I mean, it's all, it's all, you know, but, you know, it's a reason why people eat meat. I understand Peter say what Peter don't do and Peter, you know, but then again, you got other animals that eat other animals. It's the circle of life. But I expect us to do our hype to turn into reality start next year, bro. I really do. They stockpiling a whole bunch of talent. They getting a whole but basically what they doing is they getting a whole bunch of old schools hoping they can revive a couple of them and flip them at an antique show. That's what they doing with a lot of these, you know, they call it in Detroit the last chance D. But I just think we'll be guard heavy, especially if you 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 don't get an opportunity to get Victor Wild Banana or Brandon Miller and you just pass because of the character concerns and he just go before you. And then you like, you left with school. You like, you know, so 
I'm thinking the real question is, you know, do they trade out of that pick this year or trade down for more of a need? But um, I, like I said, coming, I can't be a hypocrite. Like I said, coming into the season, I wouldn't mind one last year of tanking. I did say that. I wouldn't mind it. You know, I wouldn't mind it one last year. One last year of tanking. I wouldn't mind it. So, uh, you know, they, you know, they, they got three really good guys up there. I mean, Scoot Henderson is just special. Kind of put you in a mindset like a Rod Strickland. That's kind of what I was looking for. Rod Strickland, Kyrie-ish, with a little bit more bounce than Kyrie. But people forget, Rod, a couple guys that was before their time. You know, like Nate Tiny Archibald would have been great in this era. Rod Strickland would have been fantastic in this era. Steve Francis would have been probably MVP every year in this era. He'd been close to being an MVP candidate. You gotta understand, back in the day, they made they made point guards play a certain way. That's why they tamed Isaiah. But ultimately, Isaiah turned turned his stats. Uh, he he cha- he exchanged his, his stats for championships. That's what Isaiah did. He exchanged his stats for, for championships. You know, and. Um, Isaiah could have led the league in scoring every year, but but yeah, it's the time to turn hype into reality or start to kind of bend that corner next year. And obviously that's going to change at the head coaching ranks, and he got to have full you know, control over who earned these spots, who going to be on this team, and who not. And this is who we going to roll with. So, you know, I'm, you know, but the Lions is kind of like alleviated the pain in Detroit. Had they been, had they kept going down the road they was going to, man, we would have been depressed, bro. Only thing we had looking forward to is Ziggy is uh, Mickey last year. It could be his last year. Now nah, I was looking for five below. They finally opened it. I was trying to go in there the other day, you know. But yeah, we would have been depressed, you know. But like, I, like I continue, like I continue to say, bro. I mean, I like LeBron, uh, LeBron James, son. You know, but I I don't think we need to sell no gimmicks, bro. If we draft him, we draft him because he can play, not because we're going to get his daddy. You know, and if we draft him a guard, that means something ain't guard white with a, uh, Ivy and K. And then apparently Ivy didn't bust through the rookie wall. And a lot a lot of people kind of saying he's going to be a future star. We already knew that. I like what the kid from uh, Ben Matherin was doing. You know, Ben Matherin would have been a fit. Honestly, you know, explosive, you know, great shooter, you know, you know, great defensive ability. I just like kind of what Ivy just brought to the table for real. That's what I really like what Ivy brought to the table. That's what I like kind of what he really brought to the table. Just over, just what he could be. Matherin, I mean, yeah, he could, Matherin could be like Ray Allen, bro. Young Ray Allen too. You know, when he continued to put the ball on the floor, you know, people forget young Ray Allen was, you know, he was the, you know, he, he, he can put that ball on the floor. People tend to forget that. Young Ray can put the ball on the floor and, and score. Anywhere on, on, on the uh on the field. So yeah. But but yeah, I don't I don't I mean I don't think we need gimmicks. If we drive Bronny, I mean it, it, it should be off the strength that he look legitimately can play. So uh let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist, thumbs up the video. Uh, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, and get notifications. We go live or drop a video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash out dollar sign CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist for more videos like this. Appreciate the love, support, peace.